In computing, a process is the instance of a computer program that is being executed. It contains the program code and its activity. Depending on the operating system OS, a process may be made up of multiple threads of execution that execute instructions concurrently, while a computer program is a passive collection of instructions, a process is the actual execution of those instructions. Several processes may be associated with the same program, for example, opening up several instances of the same program often results in more than one process being executed. Multitasking is a method to allow multiple processes to share processes CPUs and other system resources. Each CPU core executes a single task at a time. However, multitasking allows each processor to switch between tasks that are being executed without having to wait for each task to finish. Depending on the operating system implementation, switches could be performed when tasks perform input-output operations, when a task indicates that it can be switched, or on hardware interrupts. A common form of multitasking is time sharing. Time sharing is a method to allow high responsiveness for interactive user applications. In time sharing systems, context switches are performed rapidly, which makes it seem like multiple processes are being executed simultaneously on the same processor. This seeming execution of multiple processes simultaneously is called concurrency. For security and reliability, most modern operating systems prevent direct communication between independent processes, providing strictly mediated and controlled inter-process communication functionality. Representation In general, a computer system process consists of or is said to own the following resources. An image of the executable machine code associated with a program. Memory, typically some region of virtual memory which includes the executable code, process specific data, input and output, a call stack to keep track of active subroutines and or other events, and a heap to hold intermediate computation data generated during run time. Operating system descriptors of resources that are allocated to the process, such as file descriptors Unix terminology or handles Windows, and data sources and sinks. Security attributes, such as the process owner and the process set of permissions allowable operations. Processor state context, such as the content of registers and physical memory addressing. The state is typically stored in computer registers when the process is executing, and in memory otherwise, the operating system holds most of this information about active processes in data structures called process control blocks. Any subset of the resources, typically at least the processor state, may be associated with each of the process threads in operating systems that support threads or child daughter processes. The operating system keeps its processes separate and allocates the resources they need, so that they are less likely to interfere with each other and cause system failures e.g., deadlock or thrashing. The operating system may also provide mechanisms for inter-process communication to enable processes to interact in safe and predictable ways. Multitasking and process management 
A multitasking operating system may just switch between processors to give the appearance of many processors executing simultaneously that is, in parallel, though in fact only one process can be executing at any one time on a single CPU unless the CPU has multiple cores, then multithreading or other similar technologies can be used. It is usual to associate a single process with a main program and child processors with any spin-off, parallel processors, which behave like asynchronous subroutines. A process is said to own resources, of which an image of its program in memory is one such resource. However, in multiprocessing systems many processors may run off of, or share, the same reentrant program at the same location in memory, but each process is said to own its own image of the program. Processors are often called, "...tasks", in embedded operating systems. The sense of, "...process", or task is, "...something that takes up time." as opposed to memory which is something that takes up space the above description applies to both processors managed by an operating system and processors as defined by process calculi if a process requests something for which it must wait it will be blocked when the process is in the blocked state, it is eligible for swapping to disk, but this is transparent in a virtual memory system, where regions of a processor's memory may be really on disk and not in main memory at any time. Note that even unused portions of active processors' tasks executing programs are eligible for swapping to disk. All parts of an executing program and its data do not have to be in physical memory for the associated process to be active. <laughs> process states An operating system kernel that allows multitasking needs processes to have certain states. Names for these states are not standardized, but they have similar functionality. First, the process is created by being loaded from a secondary storage device, hard disk drive, CD-ROM, etc., into main memory. After that, the process scheduler assigns it the waiting state. While the process is waiting, it waits for the scheduler to do a so-called context switch and load the process into the processor. The process state then becomes «running» and the processor executes the process instructions. If a process needs to wait for a resource wait for user input or file to open, for example, it is assigned the «blocked» state. The process state is changed back to waiting when the process no longer needs to wait in a blocked state once the process finishes execution or is terminated by the operating system it is no longer needed the process is removed instantly or is moved to the terminated state when removed it just waits to be removed from main memory topic interprocess communication when processors communicate with each other it is called interprocess communication ipc processors frequently need to communicate for instance in a shell pipeline the output of the first process need to pass to the second one and so on to the other process it is preferred in a well-structured way not using interrupts. It is even possible for the two processors to be running on different machines. The operating system OS may differ from one process to the other, therefore some mediators called protocols are needed. History. 
By the early 1960s, computer control software had evolved from monitor control software, for example IBSYS, to executive control software. Over time, computers got faster while computer time was still neither cheap nor fully utilized, such an environment made multiprogramming possible and necessary. Multiprogramming means that several programs run concurrently. At first, more than one program ran on a single processor, as a result of underlying uniprocessor computer architecture, and they shared scarce and limited hardware resources, consequently, the concurrency was of a serial nature. On later systems with multiple processors, multiple programs may run concurrently in parallel. Programs consist of sequences of instructions for processors. A single processor can run only one instruction at a time, it is impossible to run more programs at the same time. A program might need some resource, such as an input device, which has a large delay, or a program might start some slow operation, such as sending output to a printer. This would lead to processor being idle", unused. To keep the processor busy at all times, the execution of such a program is halted and the operating system switches the processor to run another program. To the user, it will appear that the programs run at the same time hence the term, parallel". Shortly thereafter, the notion of a program was expanded to the notion of an executing program and its context". The concept of a process was born, which also became necessary with the invention of re-entrant code. Threads came somewhat later. However, with the advent of concepts such as time-sharing, computer networks, and multiple CPU shared memory computers, the old, multiprogramming gave way to true multitasking, multiprocessing and, later, multithreading. See also <laughs> <laughs> Notes <laughs>